In this next example, we will look at some top values and get the average of these top values so we can display it in our viz. Does it sound simple? Well, the challenge in this use case is that the chart that we are using does not have the detail that we need with our calculation. We are going to be using a map that shows only state values, but what we want to calculate requires customer ID, which we do not want to show in our charts. As a reminder, LOD expressions or level of detail expressions allow you to control the granularity or the level of detail of your expression. We usually resort to LODs when our viz or our charts have different levels of granularity than the calculations that we need. If you need an LOD expressions refresher, please check out another comprehensive tutorial I have on this topic. It starts from the basics and goes through the different types of LODs and the implications of the order of operations with LODs. I've also provided a link in the card above and description down below. Let's take a look at this. Let's start by creating two charts first. The first one is a map. Let's double click on state. Let's drag over sales to color. Let's also create a second chart that simply shows each customer in a state and their maximum sales or their top sales. So on a second worksheet, let's take state. Let's take customer ID. And let's right click drag sales so that we can select max sales. So in here in the drop field window, we want to select max sales. So it's going to be the top sales, the highest sale for a customer. Let's click OK and let's sort the bars. Now, if we want to know the average of these max sales, an easy way to do it in Tableau is to go to the analytics tab, drag over the average line, and let's set this per pane so that we have a different average per state. And in here, let's simply edit the average line so that it shows the values. So right click, edit. In the label, we're going to show the value. And let's also format this so that it shows at the very top. So right click, format. In the alignment, we're going to align it to the top. So what is our challenge here? Our challenge is we want to show $485 for Alabama in our map but we also don't want to bring over customer ID in our map. We simply want it to be part of our calculation. With LOD expressions, we can do that. We can simply include customer ID in our expression, and we should be able to get this $485 as a tooltip for our map. Let's go back to our data pane. So remember in our map, we have state, and it also brought over country and region. In our details where we were able to get the value that we need, we have customer ID that doesn't exist in our map. So in our calculated field, let's create one right now. So create calculated field. Let's call this average of top customer sales. In here, we simply need to include. So curly brace, include, and we want to include customer ID, colon. And in this case, our aggregation is the max of sales. So we can simply drag that over into our calculated field editor. Remember that each of these bars is the max. But what we also want to do is we want to average all of these numbers out. So we're simply going to enclose this expression in another aggregation, which is an average. So AVG. So let's click OK. Let's add this new calculated field to our map and we can check the value for Alabama. Let's search for Alabama. And in here, we are indeed seeing $485, which is the average of all the maximums. Let's do one more check. Let's create a dashboard and take a look at other places as well. Let's add the map. Let's add our map details and let's add a filter action. So in here, use as filter. So if we select California, we should be able to confirm that the values are the same. Let's try one more. Let's say Texas, 337, 337. 